Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shehzad and watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shehzad. In this uh, lab, uh, a lot of my other subscribers they said uh, we have seen that how to create a router, Cisco router as a DSCP. We saw how to use a DSCP server in the packet tracer as a DSCP, but we haven't. Uh, uh, we don't know how to make multi-layer switch as a DSCP so how we can configure that one so in this video we will go uh, how to configure multi-layer switch as a D act as a DSCP I'll go to <coughs> my lab we will create a uh, one uh, switch here <coughs> multi-layer switch and we'll create three departments as we always do okay 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 <coughs> and we will bring two two pieces here okay so and we will create our barriers for the buildings first building second building third building okay <coughs> so now we will connect to our computers it's connected with one two Okay, and now we'll connect our this one, connect with this second, we'll connect with this third. Okay, <coughs> so we'll create VLAN like five name sales VLAN six name accounts VLAN seven name HR same I'll create a uh, VLAN SVIs VLAN 5 our IP will be 192.168.5.1 and subnet mask will be 24 bit which is 255.255.255.0 VLAN 6 will be 192.168.6.1 slash 24 VLAN Seven will be one nine two dot one six eight dot seven dot one slash twenty four and VLAN one which is default there we can create also SVIs if you want slash twenty four okay so <coughs> this is our SVIs first come first we'll configure this switch We'll go enable configuration terminal host name. This switch is sales exit configuration T again interface fast ethernet zero slash three. I'll make it trunk because it's going up for trunk switchboard mode trunk no shut exit. Now we'll create a VLAN five VLAN five name sales exit now these two ports one and two I'll bring it into the uh, VLAN access VLANs five 
0 slash 1 to 2 switchboard mode access access switchboard access VLAN 5 here we go okay exit exit and write memory save the configuration okay we have done this one we have done this one we can see show VLANs so one VLAN 5 is created and two PCs are connected there and default is there so we will see show interface status so you can see two is PCs and one is trunk going to layer 3 switch that's great let's go for second one <coughs> Sorry. okay enable on T okay internet interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 switchboard mode trunk no shot which is going to up this link which is going to up our layer 3 switch now we'll go VLAN 6 name accounts exit interface range fast 0 slash 1 and 2 two interfaces one and two is in our switchboard mode access switchboard access vlan six exit exit write memory show vlans we can see our vlan six is created <coughs> and it's in the two first is two is there and third is our show interface status here we go third is trunk is created that's great let's go for third one similar enable conf t host name is this is at short okay vlan okay we can interface fast 0 slash 3 switch per mode trunk exit VLAN is 7 name HR exit interface range fast 0 slash 1 to 2 switchboard mode access and switchboard access VLAN 7 and exit and write memory show VLANs <coughs> okay VLAN to 7 is created and this is the <coughs> our configuration will go show interface status okay both and done okay so our switch part access switch part in the buildings different buildings are done so we'll go into the main switch here and we'll configure the first no enable config t whose name is or switch <coughs> okay now configure all three one two three switches uh, this one two three interfaces as a trunk interface range fast zero slash one two three switchboard trunk switchboard mode trunk if you do switchboard mode trunk it will ask for auto it because we need to enable the dot one q encapsulation so we will do switchboard trunk encapsulation dot one q and now if we give switchboard mode trunk it will work and no shut okay right memory <coughs> this one is done now we'll create all these svis and vlans conf t vlan 5 name is sales VLAN 6 name is accounts VLAN 7 name is HR okay we created the VLANs but now we'll give we'll make a SVIs <coughs> virtual switch virtual interfaces <coughs> first for VLAN 5 interface VLAN 5 and now we will give the IP address this one IP address 192.168.5.1.255255255.0 no shut then we'll go for six VLANs and create a 
interface VLAN 6, IP address 192.168.6.1, no shut. Now we'll go for 7, interface VLAN 7, IP address 192.168.7.1255255255.0 no shut and the last will create a VLAN 1 which is mostly people use for the switch IP address if you want you can otherwise I will do it 1 if you have a separate management VLAN then you can choose an IP address from your management VLAN for the switch configurations okay I'll go IP address 192.168.1.1255255255.0 no shut exit exit right so as of now our switch is configured let's enable routing first and for route enabling uh, layer 3 routing we have to give command IP routing enter exit write memory now guys we'll configure DHCP server <coughs> in this the first we will start service DHCP enter in this stage our DHCP service is enabled so then the second step is we will go to <coughs> create the <coughs> pools okay I'll create IP DSCP pool so here we can give a pool name so pool name I will give the say I will same so identical sales enter I'm inside the pool now so I have to give the IP address range from the same pool which is 5 okay so network see you can see 192.168.5.0 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay default router 5.1 DNS I will give the Google if you have your own company DNS you can give it there create it so on this stage we have created a pool for our sales department and we give the network this one okay and I will go exit come back and now I will create another pool IP DSCP pool which will be our this accounts department Accounts uh, pool, sorry, IP DSCP pool accounts network is 192.168.6.0.255.255.255.0. Default route is 192.168.6.1. DNS is a dot a dot a dot eight. Okay exit so I will create that third pool now for our HR department this is our HR department so I'll create IP DSCP pool HR network is 192.168.7.0255255255.0 and default route is 192.168.7.1 DNS is 8.8.8.8. Enter. This is 8.8.8 is a basically a Google DNS, and here we are using. But in your company, uh, there will be a might be a different DNS, and then from that DNS onwards is internet reachable. So mostly domain controllers configured in the different corporate sectors, and they are using the same DNS of their domain controllers. Okay. Here because we are doing lab and D is packet tracer, that's why here we are doing that okay so let's see final configurations I think it's completed uh, we will go show run okay so 
you can see our uh, IP routing is enabled our three pools first pool for sales second pool for accounts and third pool for HR is created and uh, here we have our trunk links all three connected to different buildings to the layer two switches and here we go our VLANs and SVIs okay and here we go so I will do write memory I'll close this one and let's see if this guy is getting the IP address from DSCP in his VLAN okay configuration and let's see here click the SCP okay you can see it's it got the from 5 VLAN which is the 5 we identify from here and DC DSCP request is success let's go for this one which is accounts guys in the accounts department and see yes success is there and it's got from 6 from his VLAN from 6 network this is the network of 6 we'll go for the last guy here which is HR department go for DSCP and he got it from 7 range which is his 7 VLAN network is 7 and then he got the default gateway he got this one so now if you see they can ping each other if I from HR department I want to ping I will go IP config see I got it IP config and I will ping uh, 192.168.7.1 to my gateway I'm reachable to I will go for 6.1 which is our maybe department uh, sorry this is the another one two I will go and check if this PC got the IP address two okay it's pinging and then we'll go 5.1 5.2 for the third VLAN which is this is the guy okay so it is reachable everything is fine well and good and we have configured our DSCP with multi layer switch thank you guys if you have enjoyed my video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos thank you take care bye bye